the bees need water? I think so. They're all over this leaky water hose river I got right here. All over landing. All over getting the water. Carry home. Air conditioning. Be air conditioning. All right, good afternoon. Welcome to Walker Bee Ranch. Um, gonna try to get some of these nukes squared away because I'm going to uh, move them. I'm gonna move some nukes over to that uh, other yard and we're gonna roll the dice. Uh, I stopped by the strawberry fields today and uh, I guess from what I gather, South Carolina law says that they cannot spray during the day, which is the forage time for the bees. So we're gonna see if, uh, if the bees thrive down there and uh, I don't know, we're gonna load up a few nukes and see what happens and uh, we'll give it the experiment. All right, I got about half a battery on this thing. So let's see what we can, can film. I was going through them earlier and uh, I think I'm going to move probably four, one, uh, probably everything on this stand over here. So there's one, two, three four nukes but that's a five over five so i'm probably gonna split that and add a queen and uh just give them five nukes and then leave these nukes over here that are doing pretty good to continue and i might split those out and make a couple more colonies off of those but we're going to try to move those down by the strawberries and uh and see what happens to them all right so i've got these nukes that have a uh, solid bottom on them. Uh, I've got two of those, and then I'm gonna move everything else to pro nukes probably, and, uh, and get them secured in so I can move them pretty easily. And uh, some of these nukes are doing, eh, okay. Take that lid off. I mean, they're doing all right. Um, and we're just gonna transfer all of these bees, everything just like it is, over to this other box and uh, move move the box together. So, take the little feeder ring off. Bang them, man. And we're just gonna move them just like they sit, everything. And uh, I'll put them back over here, give the foragers time to return. Definitely, eh, they got a little bit of nectar in that one. Um, it's really right before shift change. And uh, we're gonna let these grow up a little bit in this box. Oop. Really just wanna double check and make sure we get the queen in. Yeah, if I don't kill them with the fallen sugar, she was right on this frame a little while ago. Um, make sure one of the new queens here um, we're gonna just move them let me just move everything over and assume that I'm getting her what is it kind of bow out a little bit there we go put that back on there a little bit of peppermint pollen sub no oh, it's at an angle that's why it's doing that and uh, just gonna make sure and put that in that's nice and heavy so they got a little bit of feed in there just checking I'm just looking down in the box to make sure and the only reason I'm doing this right here is to make sure that, uh, that they can go right up in their box here. Set that on the front. Put this little bit of fondant still that I've got up here. Um, just put that right on the top. Dump that bottom board off, and we're gonna move this right where they were. 
sorry girls, I'll put you right over here back where you were so people, bees can find out where you're at, your smell, there you go, one down, so got one there, I'll put the feed ring back on it, the spacer, put that spacer back on it, and we'll drop the, the purple lid, Yep. I guess I gotta make sure you're open actually to get in and out. We'll put that right on top. All right, perfect. And uh, then we got this they can crawl out of. Just making sure no queen down in there, no queen on the box, good. And just like that, they figured it out. Right in the middle. All right, so. I'm gonna move this other box into a pro nuke, this pink one. So we'll get that moved over. Now that's not a bad little nuke, the pink nuke. But we're gonna move it into this pro nuke right here, right in front of it. You can see the bees in the other colony, they're fanning, telling everybody this is home so they can come in and uh, get these transferred over and move them right back to where this spot. All right, two down. Uh, I got that one that's uh, already ready to go, um, but I might might trick them a little bit, so we'll see see how we do this. All right, so you're wondering how I was gonna trick them. So this colony here, this now, this new five frame nuke, the queen is in that box. This has no queen, so I'm gonna take one of my mated queens and put it in this nuke and make two nukes out of it. All right, I just put a one of my new mated queens on there and I'm gonna move all of these over to this other pro nuke with the new queen uh, the original queens in the bottom so hopefully that gets them going last move of the trick was to move this weaker split over to where the forager bees returning will fill that box up as they come back and not the already stronger colonies over here so that's kind of the what we we try to do here got the foragers coming back to the uh, wheat colony to help fill that up we got this one with a brand new queen we got the original queen in the bottom so hopefully that all goes as planned all right so it's closable closable on the pro nuke right there that's two uh, go through the bushes it's part of the reason I'm moving this um, both of these pro nukes closed down now so that's four and all the returning foragers are now coming back to this weaker nuke that I've set up there to give them a boost in population at least not all of them, most of them and then when I get there and unload everything they'll all have uh, brand new shiny homes here in a little while once they go inside and uh, and it'll be all figured out when they orient to their new home I'm thinking maybe I make this a two-part series here um, and when I say two-part that's so they can uh, um, one of doing this and then one of um, actually moving them so uh, obviously after I close these up I'll have to load them all up and uh, put them in the put the stand and everything in the truck which it's a little hot right now and I'm gonna take regular nukes down there with me so when I put them in there they will uh, they'll have to orient to their new spot so right now everybody's looking good uh, they're trying to figure out why they got a round disc and can't go on the landing board but they'll figure it out when they're bringing stuff in and they'll get back in the colony and then everything off of this stand underneath the tree here will be gone to the new yard uh, five nukes and uh, we're gonna let them hopefully grow up into strong colonies and uh, and have a bit of a nuke yard there and uh, if they get too big 
I'll bring them back, put them into uh, 10 framers and rinse and repeat, or make splits and make a nuke, let it grow up and bring it back. I'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> it's kind of how I work. You gotta figure it out and shoot from the hip sometimes. But right now, everybody's got a queen in it. Everybody's doing good. Uh, we did take that weak colony and put it where the stronger colony was so the foragers would have to go in there and give them a little bit of a field force to help them figure it out here. But they're doing all right. They'll get in there. They don't have that many bees in there right now. I mean, a couple frames, but that'll help them give them a boost. There's some fuzzies coming out. So uh, tomorrow, or uh, when I take them down to the new yard, if I take them tonight before the show or after, we'll see, see how we do it. But uh, it'll definitely uh, give them a, give this colony here a boost. And, uh, and we'll give them something down there to reorient. So looks like I've got enough nuke boxes to do four of them traditionally. And one of them's got to have a, a bottom board on it. So um, at any rate, stay by for stand by for episode two of this with the actual moving and we'll get it figured out and uh we'll talk to you guys soon thank you for watching walker b ranch and we'll see you on the next episode mm -hmm.